What is good everybody, welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we're back with another WWE Elite action figure ranking video for you guys. Very special one actually. And I was going to do it all by himself. I was going to do this specific person all by themselves. But they didn't have enough figures. I didn't like it. I, I felt like it needed more. We don't typically do a superstar on the ranking series unless it's about 10 to 12 figures. And this person had 8 I think. I, I call myself doing my research and making sure that I got all of them. Most of them I know off the top of my head but I do like to go back and and research just to make sure that I get them all. I think I got them all, but today, man, we're not only going to be doing one, but two people. We're going to be doing a tag team, or not only a tag team, but their versions separate of themselves. We're talking about the Outsiders. We're talking about Scott Hall and Kevin Nash. We're talking about Razor Ramon and Diesel. So we're going to get all of their figures in here today. Very excited. I think it ended up being a total of 16 or something like that. I think Scott Hall had ended up having like eight figures or something like that, and I was like, nah, man, that's not enough. We gotta get it in. In here we got to put Kevin Nash in here so I figured why not put them both together and do a ranking style video together so today man we are going to be ranking every Scott Hall, Razor Ramon, Diesel and Kevin Nash figure all in one as we have it man as you guys can see we do have the different ranking tiers on the left here we have go buy it which if I put a figure there it means go purchase it it should be in your collection good figure means I could see you putting it in the collection it's not a must have but it is very good Matt is like eh it's okay it's not the worst it's not the best you have barely acceptable which means you have one quality about your figure that keeps you out of the bottom tier like one thing a head sculpt an accessory a mold something like that keeping you from the bottom which is going to be the garbage which the garbage means that you don't have anything about you that i really care about i don't want you in my collection you shouldn't own it it's just kind of a waste of space as you guys know scott hall did pass away not too long ago rest in peace to the legend so i wanted to do this ranking tier video i think i put it up on the community tab a few times man but today we are going to finally rank these guys and we're starting things off with a banger we have the Elite 16 Kevin Nash figure. Now, I think a lot of people do love this figure. It's got a legendary status to it. It was very big when it came out. For now, I'm going to put it in good figure. I'm not going to put it in go buy it. I think that this is a good figure. I don't think it's the best. The head sculpt's kind of eh. It is kind of a plague of the times. I think you can fix it up and make it really nice, but I'm going to put it in good figure for now. Kind of stiff legs. Not my favorite figure of all time. I know a lot of people love that figure, but I'm going to put it in good figure for now. We could come back to it. Speaking of which, Elite 16 Diesel. Now, this is where it gets crazy because you guys just heard me say Elite 16 Kevin Nash. Well, in this series, in Elite Series 16, very legendary status here, they had two of the same guy and different gimmicks in the same wave, which is kind of insane, but we have Diesel and Kevin Nash. I'm going to put that in good figure as well. I think it's slightly worse than the Kevin Nash, in my opinion. We've had so many different iterations of Diesel that it's like, eh, you know, I'm going to put it in good figure for now, but it could change. Next up, we have our first Scott Hall. It is Elite 51 Scott Hall. Not my favorite Scott Hall. I don't think it's terrible. It is solid. Ah, uh, I don't know. I, I like the attire of this one. There are many or there's a few different Scott Halls that are very similar to this one, but I don't know where I want to put this one. I guess I, I'm going to stick it in good figure for now. I actually like it better than the Diesel though. I'm going to put him right here. It could go up. It could go down. I do like the vest. I like the head sculpt. I think it even had the toothpick in there, which I love. So we'll see about that one. Let's move on to our first Razor Ramon figure. And Razor Ramon right here, this is the fighting moments this figure had really loose legs really wobbly legs and i never was a big fan of this figure i know a lot of people were but it's show form heavy in my area wasn't my favorite i'm gonna put it in meh it's not like horrible i think that the head sculpt has aged like i i used to think it was a fantastic head sculpt it's kind of aged eh, i don't think it's a bad head sculpt per se but I'm going to put it in meh. I'm going to put it in meh for now. We can we can see where it goes from there. Next up is going to be the Flashback Walmart exclusive. Now, this for me is excellent. I love this figure. This is go buy it for me. I think it's so unique. You have the pink pants. You got the Hawaiian shirt. The only thing I don't really like about the figure is that he has like those new rotating elbows. It's not like double jointed arms. It's not, you know, even regular single jointed arms. He has like the rotation elbow garbage basic style articulation, which I don't like. But I like the figure a lot overall. I think it's so unique. It's awesome. It's go buy it. I wish I had 30 of them. I think I ended up with uh, one or two of those. I know I have it for sure, but I love that figure. I think it's really unique. Next up, we have the Hall of Fame four pack Kevin Nash in the NWO gear. Now, this was a really sweet four pack. This four pack right here was awesome. You had uh, Scott Hall and his NWO shirt. You had Eddie Guerrero and his LWO. You had the Kevin Nash. You had the Zabisco. This is a really cool four pack that I miss. I wish we could go back to the four packs and stuff. I honestly love this figure a lot because you get the street gear, which I think is very cool for displays and stuff. I don't know. Hmm. It is just 
to gene mold, but I think it's so cool. I want, I borderline want to put it and go buy it, but I think I'm going to put this, I think I'm going to put it in good figure. I think I'm going to put it in good figure. I do like it. I like it a lot. I'm going to put it at the top right here. I, I really like this figure. The head sculpt's not the best, but you put sunglasses on there. Lots of options there. I like that Kevin Nash. I'm going to put him right there. Speaking of which, we have Scott Hall in the jeans, and I don't think you'd want, right, you don't want Scott Hall in the jeans and not Kevin Nash in the jeans, so I'm going to put Scott Hall up here. I really like the white and black NWO shirt over the Wolfpack look. I'm going to put him in there, right? Yeah, I like that right there. I, I just love those figures. Those are two figures I've never owned, or no, I've, I've owned the, the Scott Hall. I've never owned the Kevin Nash, which kind of is ironic, dating back to my last point, but I think I got it with a custom. It was like a custom guy in an NWO shirt. It wasn't this specific look so maybe that's something we could do in surgery could fix it up but moving on we do have i think this is the hall of fame diesel and i like this head sculpt but it was kind of a weird one it was kind of a weird one i'm gonna put this one in meh i do like it better than the razor i think i like the head sculpt a lot i just think that it's not my favorite you know i was never a big diesel guy i like this one of the elite 16 is a little better to me because uh i like the gray top i, th I just like that the look of the figure aesthetically a little bit better uh it's got a legend legendary status and stuff so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna put the hall of fame here and meh we have some other options over here speaking of which we have razor ramon in the blue the legends razor ramon and i like this one more i like the blue a lot more than the purple even though the purple may be more iconic you know that's up for debate there i still like the razor a lot it's more updated it had better effects there it was done better than the purple as far as the time because this figure came out what a year or two ago this one is uh six seven years old something like that so i think the blue is better than the purple and I'll also I'm a per I'm, I'm a I'm team blue I like blue better than purple even though it may not fit the character better you know maybe it's more iconic the other way I still like the blue better I'm gonna put good figure here for purple but if you wanted to switch these I could totally understand that one as well I also like the vest more on the blue legends speaking of which of legends we have the legend Scott Hall I love this figure I'm gonna put it and go buy it um I know that his trunks are a little bit different here compared to the elite 51 but I love the cloth shirt that you get I actually like the head sculpt that we got on the legends figure i like it a lot this is a figure that i ended up getting a few of because they were on clearance i had 11 scott halls at my target and they marked them down to five bucks a piece it was too good of a deal to pass up i had to grab it so i put scott hall there and go buy it i really like that figure it was a fun one and uh yeah just doing this countdown makes me have to hunt down all these figures man i gotta go out there and hunt all of these down because i actually don't own a lot of these so that'll be something that we can do but let's move it on to the next figure and moving along man we do have the next figure which is going to be the legends kevin nash which i also think go buy it i i uh, people are probably slapping me in the face on the screen they're probably thinking what the hell are you doing brad putting the elite 16 kevin nash down here i just never was a huge fan of that figure i think the attire is great but i felt like for how old it is it's kind of stiff it was a little stiff for me the one time that i've held this figure before and, and posed it around uh it's it just it was never one of those that i really wanted to search out i know that it has a legendary status but i think the legends is superior i like the head sculpt i like the accessories that you get going there and uh this is kind of a play on the ringside exclusive a little bit which i really like uh yeah i like this i like both of the new legends figures i think they're awesome they're really really great so i'd say hunt these down but uh let's move on to the next figure which is going to be the wrestlemania 35 wrestlemania 18 scott hall which is pretty good i actually like this figure a lot i think it's pretty cool you get the bricks you know you get a, a nice gear in the nwo there from his match with stone cold steve austin at wrestlemania ah i don't know where i want to put this one because i actually really like it i don't know if i like it more than than the elite 51 do i like it more than the elite 51 i don't know the go by or the good figure section right now is really really strong hmm i don't know i don't know what i want to do i want to fight people right now i'm gonna stick it right here i think i i like it better than the diesel these two are very close to me the elite 51 and the wrestlemania elite then you have the elite 16 i'm gonna stick it there i really like the street gear for some reason that's just reign supreme the i I don't know about this one. We'll, we'll refer back to it at the end. Next up, we do have the Network Spotlight Diesel, which I think is better than the Hall of Fame Diesel, but I don't think it's all... I don't think you need all of the... But it does say Big Daddy Cool on it. Actually, I'm going to put that up in there. I like that. I like that it says Big Daddy Cool on it. I think I'm going to put that slightly above the Elite 16 Diesel. You could interchange these, though. You know, I, I, I don't think it's like a huge deal here, but I think it is slightly better than the Hall of Fame figure right there. I think. I don't know, man. They're very, very 
similar. You guys can see we have like three diesels. Isn't that insane? Like, I feel like that's insane. Speaking of which, we have the ringside of Scott. I don't know how it's speaking of which. It's not really speaking of which. But we have the ringside exclusive NWO Scott Hall. This one right here is going right here. It is, uh, it's very damn good. It's one that I never owned. I wasn't hardcore, like, into, uh, collecting every single thing or trying to get my hands on everything back when this figure released. So, it wasn't, like, a sought-after figure for me. It wasn't one of those figures that I was breaking my neck to get. I don't know why. It has beautiful packs. Uh, what an idiot, you know, what a moron. So, yeah, that, that's second for me right here with the Scott Hall ringside exclusive. I actually like this figure a lot now. Wish I had my hands on it. You know, one day I'll get it in the collection. But right now, I don't have it because I said, you know what, Brad, I don't need it. Next up is the ringside exclusive Kevin Nash. And I like this one a lot, too. Now, one thing about it is that these two are very, very, very similar. So, I don't think you can really do that. I'm going to put that one right here. You know, I don't think it's, yeah, it's, it's very similar. Actually, I, I think that's fair right there. All right. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. There you go. They're very similar. It comes with great accessories. It does have the best head sculpt. It does say Nash instead of NWO on it, which is still a good figure. It's a really strong figure. Another figure I never got for some reason. I should have been all over these figures. It just wasn't one of those figures that fit into the budget at the time. And you know, it's just one of those things, you know, sometimes that takes place, you know, it gets you every now and then. So that was just one of those cases there. But the last figure on the list is going to be the Ultimate Edition Diesel, which is the best version of Diesel. And that's going to go in the go buy it section. And and if you guys did not get in on the uh, the crowdfunder, you're probably not going to get that diesel. I mean, I guess you could if you, you know, you're going to go out of your way to get it. And it's going to be, it's going to be really expensive. You're going to have, you're going to have to pay the toll for that one. It's going to be very expensive to get, but it is going to be worth it. I think it's going to be the best diesel. Can't wait to get it in hand. It should be on its way very soon. I'd say by the end, end of August, maybe we should have our crowdfunder in. But one thing that I think is very interesting, just pay attention to this. I'm going to go one by one through the figures. I want you to notice something. You have a flashback Walmart exclusive. Exclusive. You have a ringside exclusive. You have a Target exclusive Legends. You have a Target exclusive Legends. You have a Crowdfunder Ultimate Edition. You have a Target exclusive Hall of Fame. A Target exclusive Hall of Fame. Elite 16. Target exclusive Legends. Ringside exclusive. Elite 51. Walmart exclusive. WrestleMania Elite. I think it was Walmart exclusive. It may have went to ringside too, but you guys get the point. It wasn't like widely, widely available. It was an exclusive. You have the Elite 16. You have another Target exclusive Network Spotlight. A Target exclusive Hall of Fame. And then you have a Defy moments. What do you notice about these figures? These guys rarely get main elite line figures. It's kind of like Bret Hart, Stone Cold Steve Austin. You don't see them included in the main elite line for some reason. I don't know why that is. But isn't that interesting? It's weird how they do that. A lot of guys don't fit into the main elite line even though they're big time names. I guess because they try to fill it up with other talents. But that's pretty crazy. But no barely acceptable figures. No garbage figures. A lot of these guys are well made. A lot of these figures are solid which is really good. You can drop and pick up a few of these. You know, I really like the, the street gear guys. I, I know a lot of people weren't huge fans of these. You had some different takes here and there, but I think this does it for my ranking. I know my flashback Walmart exclusive is at the top. I love that figure. I think it's really unique. I think it's, uh, I adore it. I think the cloth Hawaiian shirt's great. Very specific moment. Pink pants. MDT and pink pants we go together like uh, PB and J. You know, I mean, that's just the way that is. But that wraps up our ranking video of Scott Hall, Razor Ramon, Kevin Nash, and Diesel. Man, I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know down below who you'd like to see next in the ranking video Kane we got Edge we got uh there's there's plenty of guys there's plenty of guys let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below but that is going to wrap up our ranking video before we get out of here let's get into our random shout out and this shout out is going to go to Death Machine who says you truly do care about your fans and I appreciate you for that and he's right Brad I definitely adore anybody that checks out the channel or enjoys the channel I appreciate every single one of you guys whether you I mean if you if you don't like the channel and you watch anyway whether you love the channel and you watch every single day whatever the case is man I really appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so very much for enjoying the channel and the videos that we make over here. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. But leave a like on the video. Subscribe. Huge shout out to Death Machine for that. If you guys want a future shout out in a video, leave me a comment down below and you could earn yourselves a shout out. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Have a blessed day. And I'll see you guys next time. You crossed the line. I've been beaten.